everybody and welcome to Budget with Tiffany. I'm Tiffany. I'm so excited to have you here today. I am doing my third cash and stuffing for the month of October, but before I jump into that, I wanted to share some happy mail. So I won a giveaway from Becca at Becca Budget 777. She has been doing her 1K giveaway. Um, scattered throughout her videos and stuff and I ended up winning one. So this is what I won. I got a cute little IOU. This was from Tracy at Savings with Tracy. It says, Mardi Gras, we don't hide, it's really tiny. We don't hide crazy, oh my Lord. Oh, we don't hide crazy. We parade it down the street. That was very cute. We went to um, New Orleans for our honeymoon and we got there the day after Halloween. Yeah, the day after Halloween. So it was still pretty crazy. Um, obviously not Mardi Gras crazy, but it was still pretty crazy. Um, and then Becca sent this cute little thank you so much for entering my giveaway and it has um, you know different numbers so you could use it to save some additional money. And then from the Party Planner Papery, you got a $30 savings challenge, a little kind of mini scratch off. From Mischief Managed Budgets, Ren, we got a Getting Older as a Piece of Cake. Those super cute little cakes with faces and they all look really good. That one looks really, really good. It's just that one. I obviously am a chocolate person, <laughs> um, but and it's Save 80, so super cute. I always like started started checking the back of stuff because so many people put stuff on the back now. So I always kind of check the back. And this one is also from the Party Planner Papery. It is a $55 savings challenge and it's kind of a bit Halloween theme. Look like kind of pumpkins and skeletons and candied apples and candied corn and stuff. And super cute. I've seen a couple people playing this one and thought that was really cute. And then got Pool Party Fund from uh, K at Hey K Budgets. I think Becca printed this, laminated it, and put stickers on it. And this one saves 60. So, and it's got a flamingo, which is super cute. So, thank you guys for contributing to Becca's giveaway. And thank you, Becca, for doing a giveaway. And I'm excited I got to win. And then. I told her to hold off on mailing the giveaway because I was ordering some stuff from her. Um, and I ordered a bunch of other stuff, but a lot of that is for my giveaway. <laughs> so I took out the things that I um, are for my giveaway to keep them kind of a bit of a surprise. Um, but I'm going to share the things that I bought for myself. Um, so Included with my order, she has a very tight paper clip. It's a cute little heart paper clip. A thank you for um, ordering. And then she included this cute little fall mini. Super cute. And then she also included this cute little scra penguin scratch off. And then something I've been eyeing for quite a while is her Dragon Duel Challenge. And how this works is you get um, sets of cards that have the tops of different little dragons um, and then the corresponding bottom is on a different card. And so let me find, that's not the same color. That is also not the same color. That looks like the same color. So what happens is you, you know, you have several different ones upside down and you flip them over hoping to find, you know, the match. And then when you find the match, you scratch them off and she plays it as, um, if you get 
don't find a match, she saves a dollar, so hence why it's 115 plus. But if you only saved exactly what was the scratch off, it would be $115. So super cute. I've been enjoying watching her play it on her um, videos. So I'm excited to get to play it on mine. I'll put those away later because those are really tiny bags. And then, so you all probably are very much aware of the hurricanes that hit um, North Carolina, Florida, South Carolina, Georgia. Um, I used to live in Asheville. I used to live in Winston-Salem, which didn't really have as much of an issue, but I li uh, lived in Asheville for six years. Um, so, and they were really badly hit um, with flooding and wind damage and stuff from the hurricane, um, that uh, Hurricane Helene that came through. And, um, you know, it was just really hard to, to be like, I used to live there and like seeing pictures and videos and stuff, seeing like, oh, we used to go there and, you know, now that's like pretty much destroyed or um, has a lot of damage and stuff. And thankfully everybody that I've been able to talk to has said either they had no damage or minimal damage. One person said that they had um, like some trees fall on their house. So they've got, you know, some damage that they're going to have to take care of for that. But, um, you know, still nothing super major. So I'm really thankful and appreciative that, you know, the people that I know were, are fine and, you know, really didn't have much direct impact. But obviously there's tons of people in the area who um, were significantly impacted and um and i know that i think elaine mentioned that from elaine realized that there's still some friends or family that they haven't been able to get a hold of that are in kind of like a more rural part of the area and um so becca because she lives um about two hours ish away from asheville um, and I think her mom lives up kind of in that general area. I don't know exactly where she lives, but, um, she wanted to do a special, um, challenge where she, basically she would donate the proceeds to charity specifically for hurricane relief. And I think she might also donate to like individual people that need it. So, um, I definitely wanted to order. So she did this come hell or high water Appalachia strong. Um, and it kind of has the heart over the areas of Tennessee. And I forgot to mention Tennessee earlier when I was mentioning the States, um, and Virginia, but she's got the parts that were affected within the heart, um, from Tennessee, North Carolina and Virginia. Um, so I wanted to, to order this because one, I wanted to be able to support her, what she was doing, but also because it means so much to me, um, having lived there for a number of years. So I bought that from her and then she also had done a couple other, um, charity challenges. Um, the first one looking for my forever home with this cute little doggy and then, um, cute little kitties that says want to take me home and she is um donating the money to um, various animal shelters and places that help find um animals homes and take care of them and things like that so I just love that because I'm such a huge animal person and um our two cats that we have now we got from the Humane Society actually in Asheville um so loved that she was doing that so I wanted to get those from her and then I um have brown eyes and I've always kind of loved this this song so I got her challenge that says you're my brown eyed girl and just thought this was super cute love her outfit her hair everything um but just I love that song um and so I wanted this challenge. So thank you, Becca. I truly appreciate you making all these super cute orders and getting a chance to order from you and support you. Um, so definitely everyone, if you 
aren't already following Becca, go follow her, watch her videos. She's wonderful. Um, it's actually when I'm filming this, it is her birthday, the 25th of October. Um, so by the time you actually see this, it'll be past her birthday, but um, I hope she's having a wonderful birthday. And actually after I finish filming this, I'm hoping to be FaceTiming her. Um, and um, but yeah, definitely go support her. Her Etsy store is on sale through the end of October, which by the time this posts, there'll be a couple of days left in October. So um, go support her. Her challenges are great. She is wonderful. So let me flip to our spending for today. And I'm just gonna not give you a sneak peek at my budget for the next cash stuffing that I'm going to be doing. Um, so yeah, had a little bit more spending this week than did last week. Um, so let me start with our variable expense binder. So on Friday night, I originally didn't think I was going to be doing anything. Um, DJ had practice and stuff, but actually his best friend reached out to us and asked us if we wanted to go to dinner with him and his daughter. Um, DJ couldn't, um, but I said sure. So we met up at a restaurant kind of closer to my area, which is partly why he was asking us if we wanted to go. And it's like a vegetarian slash vegan plant-based restaurant so it's got like all vegetarian and vegan meals so they kind of do an impossible burger and use like black bean burgers and do different things um i don't actually know what my sandwich was made out of but it was supposed to be like a faux chicken but it was pretty good it was like fried chicken sandwich um it was really good actually i'd never had it before or anything similar um but it ended up being um, $21. So I had $15 in my eating out. So I am taking the other $6 from Buffer. So I've got five, six. So I've got 20, 35, 37 remaining in Buffer. And it was a lot of fun. We we chatted. Um, his daughter is close to being a teenager. I don't think she's a teenager yet, but she's pretty close. Um, so she she's kind of more quiet, reserved. Um, so we we played card games and stuff while we were waiting for our food to arrive and just hung out and stuff. And it was a lot of fun. Um, and then we did not go out on a well. We did go out on a date night, but. Um, did not need to spend any money on date night. Um, for eating out for DJ's birthday on, uh, his birthday was on Monday, but on Sunday we went out to a place called Ray J's, kind of like a pub, had a variety of different food, and we had a gift card um, that somebody had given us, I had like seven dollars left on it, um, and we so during the day we'd watch the Vikings game, which they lost. And then while we were at the at Ray J's, we watched the final game of the the WNBA uh, playoffs of the Lynx versus the Liberty. And we were bummed that the Lynx ended up losing, but um, so it was kind of a double like uh, heart wrench to lose both the Vikings and uh, or to have both the Vikings and the Lynx lose on the same day, but. It was still a lot of fun. So our dinner after the gift card and adding in tip ended up being $56. I have 60 here, so I'll take back four. And tomorrow, so I'm, like I said, I'm filming this on the 25th, so tomorrow is our anniversary. So we are figuring out where we're gonna go for dinner. Um, I don't know yet where we're gonna go. We kind of want to pick something a little fancier since it's our 10 year wedding anniversary. Um, maybe dress up a little bit. 
we're, we're both like jeans and sandals and t-shirt people. So we um, don't dress up all that often, but we kind of feel like it's just a little something special. So um, I will share probably next week when I do my cash on stuffing. Um, so for groceries, spent $13 at the co-op. So I got 15, so I'll take back two. And then $6 again at the co-op a few days later. So five, seven, and take back one. A lot of times the co-op is, um, cause it's close-ish to our house. So like, and there's a couple things that we can get there that sometimes we can't get at other places or it's more convenient or cheaper. Um, so um, there was a couple things that I just needed to get. And then on Thursday, um, went to Target and got $11 of groceries. And this is pretty much like the things that I can't get at Aldi. And then at Aldi, I spent $52, so 55, so two back three. So we got 22, $23 remaining. And then spending, while I was at Target, um, my husband needed some printer paper for his printer. Um, and then I bought a card to give him for our anniversary. So that came out to be $11. So I've got 10, 12, so I'll take back one. And Amazon, I bought, there was a couple things I wanted to buy on Amazon and I had a gift card that I'd gotten for my birthday. So I wanted to make sure I use the gift card to get stuff for myself, plus the stuff that I was gonna get for my Etsy store. Um, so I bought a cup, a book, no, two books. So after the, the $25 gift card, it was $7 that I paid for my two books. So I've got 10 and I'll take back three. And is it so i've got 20 35 37 38 39 and that is it for that binder this is actually the envelope that goes with the card that i bought my husband so um and in my annual expense binder, I bought a gift card for Becca for her birthday. Um, so I'm taking that out of gifts. It was $25. So I'll take 50, give myself back 25. So I got 100, Longer term sinking fund binder for coaching. DJ bought some granola bars to take to their football game. They unfortunately lost, so they are done, but good because that means he also doesn't have a football game tomorrow on our anniversary. So, slightly positive there. So, I took out five and took back a one. We got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 70, 90, 610, 20, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48. And I don't remember what that just added up to. So, um, And then in Shop Small, like I said, I've been buying stuff for um, giveaways, but also bought some stuff for myself. So on... The 19th, I bought a bunch of different things for myself. So as they trickle in, I will definitely share them. 
So that was 67. So I've got 70 here. And take back three. And then I bought $9 worth of stuff on Etsy on the 22nd. So take out a 10 and give myself back one. Two, three, four, five, and I'm just gonna swap all that for a five in case I need the ones. And that is it for that binder. I've been, I probably should be in Etsy jail, but I've set the money aside, so it's fine. And I have like five, obviously five dollars left, and I told myself I can't buy any more until I put more in it. So I'm being good. Um, and then last in my business binder, I bought some things on Amazon. I bought one of the things I don't want to say yet because it's kind of a surprise. And I don't remember. It's stuff like for the store, or Etsy store or for the channel. I can't remember now exactly what I bought other than the one thing that I don't want to say yet. So it was $26. So 25, 26. So I've got 7 dollars left in materials. And then in giveaways I bought four dollars worth of stuff. So I've got five and I'll take back a one. So now I've got 20, 40, 60, 75, 82, 83, 84. Okay, and I had $70 over here to start, so I'll take that out. And I should have $312. So let's see if this worked out. So 51. 150, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 300, 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 312, yay. So that is it. I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.